I'm Justin Ziegler, Canton, Ohio. I drive the 2006 Pro Street Dodge called Dirty Diana. I am the 2023 ODSS Pro Street Champion. We broke uh, both Pro Street records, ET and mile per hour, at the last event. Everything just aligned perfectly. Yeah, we were, we were lucky. I mean, it. We, we tried some new stuff you know, before the start of the season, just chassis-wise, and come out and it was working. And started slowly playing with it, and we were lucky enough, once we set a tune, like we didn't change it all year. I mean, we just kept beating the shit out of that thing, and it took it, and it just kept getting a little bit faster, a little bit faster, without changing anything, so. So there's a lot of work, but I mean, you need that little bit of luck. Like, everything just has to align perfect to do what we did, because it's never been done before, and I don't know if it'll ever be done again. It was, you know, the luck luck was on our side, and everything just worked. So I have a, a cast block d and Enforcer engine. Uh, it's been in my quad cab and in this truck. We we did UCC with it twice. I mean, I've absolutely abused the hell out of it, and it's I mean, it still runs. I drove it, drove it in the trailer at the last race, drove it in the shop after that, and now is that the one that did the, the horsepower record? Yep, yeah, that's the one that did the 3336 on the dyno. That's a cast block, factory Cummins crank, cast head, all Drew's good stuff inside, and it loves it. All this cast stuff and everything, I mean, it seems to be a little wild for the <laughs> amount of power and the ET and the weight because you guys got to weigh, what, 4,400? Yeah, 4,400. So we weigh 4,450 with my big ass strapped in it. And I mean, on the calculator, I mean, we're flirting with 3,000 horsepower every pass. And I mean, to do it with a cast block, it shouldn't be done once, let alone dozens of times. It's just, everything's working. It just keeps going. When it yep. stops working, we'll figure it out. Right, right now, exactly. Like, so what is your game plan with uh, the 2024 season? Like, obviously you've dominated 2023. You have, there's some new competition in the class mm -hmm. and people switching and stuff. And well, I'm excited for the new competition coming in. I think it'll force all of us to get faster. Um, I'm looking forward to that part of it because I want to go faster. I want to, I mean, we're going to take another run at it, see if we can win back to back. I would really like to put a billet engine in it. You know, if it, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, we're going to, run the same enforcer and you know keep winning races with the odss season there's a couple extra races next year how do you think that's going to affect you know now the schedule is getting a little longer it's the schedule a little bit longer i mean we're just you know, we're going to be everywhere i mean starting in florida that's going to be rough uh to be just ready to go in time i mean i'm hoping to change as little as possible just so we know we can take it out of the trailer and go for us the other races it's, it's cool like i like to see you know, new tracks and, you know, people taking interest in what we're doing. Do you know how many, I mean, it's been in two different trucks, do you know how many passes are on that thing? I mean, it's been refreshed a couple of times. It hasn't been touched since last year. I mean, we uh, we raced one pro street race with it last year and didn't touch it. It's got a lot of passes on it. <laughs> Quite yeah. a few. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck to you in 2024. And Thank you.